Yeah, a while back while visiting another country, I was at a restaurant sitting outside minding my own business when all of a sudden at the corner of my eye I saw a parade. So I went to check it out and it was an LGBT parade. And everyone had such colorful hair. There were people with purple hair and pink hair, green hair, blue hair, red hair. Every single hair color you can imagine. And that reminded me of something. While I was looking at the parade, I was thinking, well that looks familiar. Where have I seen a bunch of characters with colorful hairs? Oh, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. The gay parade reminded me of Dragon Ball Super. When it comes to Dragon Ball Z, the character transformations were amazing. Super Saiyan transformation was hyped for a long time and when it was finally shown, it looked holy, okay? It looked like a proper power-up. You knew Goku was a lot stronger than before just by looking at the transformation. And then we had Super Saiyan 2, which wasn't as good, it was the same transformation, just a bit more energy around Goku. And then came Super Saiyan 3, the best transformation in all of Dragon Ball. It was complete perfection. How can you go better than Super Saiyan 3? Well, in Dragon Ball GT they had Super Saiyan 4, and I know GT isn't canon, but Super Saiyan 4 was pretty damn good. The transformation was unique and it looked different from anything we have seen before. But sadly, then came Dragon Ball Super and every single transformation after that has just been Oh, I'm gonna change your hair color. Like that's literally it. Dragon Ball Super's transformation were a complete disappointment. All they do is take Goku and just recolor his hair in MS Paint. Goku's transformation looked like someone did them in DeviantArt. Like some kid just decided to recolor Goku's hair and rename it as his own original character. This uh, red-haired guy over here, that, that's not Goku, that's my own original character, Bloku. But no, it was canon, okay. Sadly, Goku's transformations are canon. So yeah, I talked about the epic transformations from Super Saiyan 1 to Super Saiyan 4. Okay, and how do Goku's transformations look in Dragon Ball Super? Well, first he gets red hair, then he gets blue hair, <laughs> then his, his eyes are grey, and then he gets white hair, or, or silver hair, whichever way you want to call it. Yeah, that, that's literally it. All they do is change Goku's hair color every few arcs. That's it. And uh, it's not only Goku, literally every character is just a repaint. There are no original transformations at all. For example, in Dragon Ball Super, there is a villain named Goku Black. And he gets a transformation and his hair turns pink. Yeah, his hair just turns pink. Okay, that's it. Then there's uh, Vegeta. And his transformations are the following. His hair becomes blue, then it becomes slightly darker blue. And in the manga his hair is purple. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just purple. Now let's talk about Piccolo. Did you guys know that Piccolo got the transformation? Whoa! Finally Piccolo got the transformation! Did he grow more arms? Did he grow a new eye? How does Piccolo look like? Well, you see... Piccolo went from green to orange. That's it. Let me repeat that. Piccolo got a transformation and he went from green to orange. That's literally it. Every single power-up in Dragon Ball Super is just a recolor. And uh, let's talk about Frieza now. Let's talk about how they massacred my boy. Out of all the Dragon Ball characters, Frieza's transformations were the most unique and different looking. We had the short original Frieza with the horns. After that we had a buff, strong, muscle-bound, 7 feet tall Frieza. 
And the 10th game, Xenomorph from Alien Franchise. That was the third form that Frieza had. After that, it was the form that we all know that it's the most iconic Frieza form out of all of them. And uh, sadly, every single form after that is just a copy of the fourth Frieza form. Frieza no longer has any unique and special transformations like he did before. Now all they do is take the fourth Frieza form and uh, repaint it. That's it. There is no originality in Dragon Ball Super. I'm like 100% sure that Dragon Ball Super is nothing more than a cheap cash grab of Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, the following Frieza forms are... Oh, we took the fourth form and uh, painted it gold. Yeah, it's the same form as the fourth one, just a different color. And in the manga, Frieza got a new transformation and... You know, they painted him gold, maybe now he's made out of crystals, he's made out of diamonds. No, of course not, he's just black. They just painted him black, that's it. There is no effort in any of these transformations, they are all just recolors. Dragon Ball Super has not had one unique transformation. It's always color the hair or color the skin, that's it. Literally anyone can go to MS Paint, pick a random color, change uh, Coco's hair and uh, there is like a 90% possibility that in a decade that's exactly how Coco's hair will look like. If you paint Coco's hair green then maybe in 10 years it will be green, so at this point everything is possible. It's uh, disappointing what has happened to Dragon Ball. And honestly, I hope that they will do the same thing they did with GT. They decide that Dragon Ball Super is not canon. Just like with GT. And they just redo it. But that probably won't happen. Anyways, that's all for now.